So all life exists on this planet. Whether it's human or other life, we are here in a place. We are not independent of the place. We actually depend on a constant flow of benefits that are provided to us, to life, by the environment. And nearly all of those flows of benefits are solar powered. It ultimately comes from the sun. So as an example, it, when you eat and you eat a plant, that plant was grown through the process of photosynthesis and that process is powered by the sun. Processes like photosynthesis, like water cleaning, like um, the wind, the weather, the climate, are all ecosystem services powered by the sun that create a flow of benefits necessary for life to survive and have the possibility to flourish. Very often in business, again, we have been ignoring the impacts that we have been having on ecosystem services. Climate, of course, would be the most well-known example, but there are many other examples where humans have interfered with the biophysical stocks required to interact with the sun in order to create the flow of benefit from the ecosystem service. So when we pollute a wetland, it stops the ecosystem service of water cleansing that that wetland provides to us. So ecosystem services gives you a chance as a business leader to consider how your business is dependent upon and can in fact enhance or regenerate the ecosystem services that we are damaging so badly but when we ignore them. These are complex terms and we often get this very confused look by entrepreneurs saying, well, you know, you're just increasing the complexity of our organization. These terms are things that all of us need to be aware of. What they do is they provoke us to think about our context. I had this great example, I was working with a team who were bringing skiing to underprivileged communities because many children have never had the opportunity to ski because it's an expensive sport. And when they looked at ecosystem services, they realized how dependent their organization would be on the production of snow. And now with global warming, things are really becoming challenging in terms of snow production. And as soon as they made that connection, they understood that bringing an environmental aspect and environmental awareness, not only into the advocacy of their organization, but to the children that they were providing services for was actually really important in order for them to be an organization.